Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. The bug event is finally here, and Flick's got 13 new items for us to catch. Not only that, but all of our villagers got their nets equipped. Unfortunately, they will be cursed to never actually catch the bugs that they hunt, only forced to chase them forever. Although, it does seem like our villagers are wearing... <gasps> she, I thought she caught it for a second, but she missed. Oh my god, I got so excited for our baby Aurora. But it looks like all of our villagers are wearing rain gear? Maybe it's not rain gear. I guess that's their bug catching attire. Um, Aurora looks like she's in rain gear, but I guess that's their like safari hats. I have no idea. But the rules are exactly like the fishing tournament. And we have three minutes to catch as many bugs as we can to get points. And then these points can be traded in for various items. Uh, and there's 13 different items that you can get. Now, if you play this on multiplayer, you're going to catch less bugs, but you're going to get more points per round. So if you want to do this effectively, then I highly recommend playing with other people. You can join the Discord and find friends to play with, and you'll be able to get items significantly faster by playing on multiplayer. We'll also be doing this during the live stream later today. Um, so let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'm going to go ahead and catch that... Oh! I'm going to go ahead and not catch the grasshopper that Aurora was trying to catch. Um, but also, July is going to be bringing some amazing, absolutely amazing bugs to Animal Crossing. You're going to be able to make a ton of money. This is going to be like the best season, July and August, to make money in Animal Crossing. Uh, and it's just absolutely amazing. So I'll have a video tutorial on all the bugs to catch in July and August. How much they're worth and the best ways to make money. Look at you, you island invader. I haven't seen any other bugs yet. I'm kind of curious how many we're going to catch here. I figured, like, leaving all the flowers and stuff would cause, like, spawn areas for various bugs. But it doesn't seem to be working, is the only thing. I ain't got no bugs on my island at all. At least with the fishing competition, you could use, like, fish bait and stuff. But unfortunately, there is no bug bait, which would be kind of cool. There we go. I've got a, a butcher. Oh my god, a butterfly. Two bugs, baby. I think the most I caught during the fishing tournament was like uh, 10 or 12 fish. I can't exactly remember. I just swore I just saw a bug over there. Uh, but the items for this are pretty cool. But I figured we'd just do a quick round and uh, check out the gameplay mechanics for it. But it's exactly the same as the fishing tournament. Where are all the bugs? This is a bloody nightmare. We've also got the summer update coming very soon. Which is going to be bringing diving, new encounters, and even, I believe, a new seasonal event. Um, I think we're going to get some new DIY items. I'm not 100% sure on this. I was going to make a video, but it looks like we might very well have a, uh, a new event. But I'll also be showing off all the items for this here at the um, end of the video. Ooh, come on, bug. Come on, you little bee. Huh? Got him! Ooh, baby. All right, so we got three bugs. That means we increase our points right there, at the very least. But I'm definitely excited for the new updates coming for Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm hoping that the second summer update brings gyroids, uh, which means Brewster's going to be coming as well. And that would be exciting. Who doesn't love Brewster? Who doesn't love Gyro? Well, a lot of people actually don't love the Gyroids. Personally, I do, though, because they're amazing. All right, so four bugs. 23 seconds left. Am I going to get another one? I am the worst bug catcher ever. I'm, like, as bad as Aurora right now. This is a tragedy. But also, since we're going to be doing these tournaments um, with all the members on the channel later today, leave some comments down below with what you should, what you think I should give away. Oh my god, I'm running right past bugs! One second left! Oh my god. Oh. Where did all those bugs come from? There's like three, four right there. Did I run past those? Alright, so let's see how many points we get for these four bugs. Look at all these bugs right here. They're just hanging around Flick. You're looking for any new friends? Yeah, bug cave. I'm happy to buy bugs. Oh, you know what? Oh, I've already sold all my bugs to him. Uh, so that's at least three. So we got a bonus. We earned six points. So he gives you the option to buy them all, but you don't need them as spiritual guides? I mean, let me just add it up for you. I like 
that he allows you to sell them all at once for 1290 bells. If only he came in July, you could make so much money from this while doing this. Um, well, let's trade in some of these points and see if we can get anything. Well, I'm already doing substantially better this round. Of course, when I'm not recording. I have four bugs and I still have a minute and 30 seconds left. I really wish with these that the villagers would actively actually compete against you. I think that would make it so much more entertaining. And hopefully it's something they add in the future. There's our seventh. And Lucha was literally just like walked right by it. Didn't even care. Or at least like pretend like they're competing with you. And maybe even do like like tiered rewards or something like that against your villagers. Kind of add more interaction with the villagers other than just kind of talking to them. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Well, I managed to catch double the amount this time, which is nice. So that gave me a whopping 10 points. And you need 10 points per item. So right now we've got 16 points. Uh, let's sell all of our bugs and then we'll get our first item. All right, redeeming 10 points for a bug relic. What do we got, ladies and gentlemen? Let it be some- Behoy! Behold! Behoid. <laughs> Behold, a toy cockroach! The epic tale of my pilgrimage to obtain these relics should be written on a scroll or something. Enjoy. Alright, so we got until 6pm to actually be able to do the bug off. So this toy cockroach you can put around your, uh, your island to troll people if you so desire. It looks exactly like a real cockroach. You'd, you'd never know. You can walk over it and everything too, which is kind of nice. Very interesting. Alright, so... We got uh, 12 more items that we need, but we're going to go ahead and just show them off. So in addition to the toy cockroach, you can get the artisanal bug cage, the bug aloha shirt, the bug cage, which looks like you can carry it around your shoulder like a bag, the bug wand, a butterfly wall, a butterfly backpack, which is very fancy because it gives you wings, the ladybug rug, the ladybug umbrella, which is beautiful. The spider door plate, which kind of looks way more like a, um, I don't know, like a Halloween item. And there's eight variations of the spider door plate as well. Then we've got the spider web, the termite mound, the toy centipede, and then of course the toy cockroach. In addition to each of the items that you can acquire, just like the fishing tournament, you can acquire three different trophies. You get one at 100 points, another one at 200 points, and the gold trophy at 300 points. So I did mention that playing on multiplayer would award you with more points. And you're probably asking yourself, are these points worth it? Should I be playing multiplayer? Short answer, yes. Long answer, let's get into how many points you're going to get. So... Well, when you play a challenge together with friends, an additional bonus of up to 10 points is awarded for the bugs you caught together as a group. You get 5 points for 5 to 9 bugs, 7 points for 10 to 14 bugs, and 10 points for 15 or more bugs. And that is as a group. So if you're playing with a full session, pretty much everybody just needs to catch 2 bugs and you're automatically going to get 12 points each. Which is really, really high. You basically, every time you do it, you're going to get an item, which is really good. So I highly recommend, if you're going to be playing the, the bug event, to play with other people. If you don't have other people to play with, definitely join the Discord. Uh, link is in the description below. There's 88,000 people in there, all active playing uh, Animal Crossing. Well, maybe they're not all playing Animal Crossing, because a lot of people are taking breaks. There's a sizable community there to uh, play games and have fun together with. But I do hope everybody enjoyed today's episode. Let me know what you think of the bug event in the comments below. I'll see you all tonight at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we stream it live and give away extra rewards.